Hey everybody, I'm Wendy Gers. Bonjour, hola, and ni hao. You may know me, and for those of you who don't, I'm an international art historian, curator, and coach. Today, I'm speaking to you about my IAC candidacy for Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Many of you know me as an art historian and curator. Very few of you know that I have a secret life as a ceramic artist. Well, if you don't, you're correct, because I don't. But I do spend lots of time in ceramic studios with artists, understanding their work and their professional challenges. And very occasionally, I get the chance to play. Thanks, Adil Writer, for this wonderful opportunity. I'm a recent PhD graduate, and my thesis focused on socially engaged ceramics, looking at research protocol as well as exhibitions that further the ceramics field. I specifically used the concept of Ubuntu, which means I exist because you do, a sense of global fraternity to look at um, ceramic projects that advance the field. I'm committed to pushing the boundaries of both the medium and the field through producing ambitious, excellent, original, innovative exhibitions and publications. And this is what I've been doing for the last 25 years. But without any further ado, I'd like to chat briefly about what I'm going to offer the IAC if elected to the post of council member for Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Well, firstly, my international experience. I've lived across the globe on more than on four continents, spending my youth in South Africa, the recent 20 years in France, I've also lived currently, so I do currently live in the UK. I've spent over a year in the United States, um, two years in Spain, one year in Australia, and long periods in China, Belgium, Taiwan, Israel, and Palestine. What I believe my true contribution is, uh, is leadership. I'm the only curator that's curated two biennials um, and other major exhibitions in Africa, Middle East, and Europe. This is the first Central China Ceramics Biennale. The previous image was of the Taiwan Ceramics Biennale. So yeah, I'm dedicated to this field and to making a difference. And I work with artists and institutions on a very personal level to advance practices as well as exhibitions. So yeah, I'm totally committed to and passionate about advancing our field, the ceramics field. What a wonderful medium. I can contribute to the IAC through my capacity to speak multiple languages. I speak English, French, Spanish, as well as Afrikaans. And these are top three uh, languages are the most widely spoken languages in the Western world. I'm committed to best professional procedures and um, would be very keen to work on, with the IAC on furthering the great work that they're doing in this respect. So I'd like to make the IAC more representative particularly in respect to the region I'm standing for, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, which is a really strange um, combination and a rather incongruous neo-colonial uh, combination. And if elected, certainly I'd like to unlink South Africa and link it with the rest of Africa, as well as linking Australia to New Zealand as a single uh, region. 
I think more broadly, however, we do need to look at the strange uh, power hierarchies and gerrymandering within the IAC more broadly. I'm committed to sustainability within the ceramics field and work on various uh, publications, and I'm currently a board member of the Nseeka Green Task Force, which working to advance stewardship within the ceramics field and more broadly within our planet to think through the challenges and the ways ceramic artists can contribute to developing sustainable and green practices. Certainly the greening of our field is a priority to me and I'd like to develop this uh, as a priority for the IAC. I'd also like to see the IAC becoming far more accessible to its members. I'm particularly committed to seeing the use of common technologies such as Zoom or video conference calls and uh, video conference sessions for regional meetups uh, so that we can really facilitate local dialogues which can feed into bigger national, international uh, conversations within the IAC. We do not need to all be traveling all the time and the IAC should be committed to alleviating and lightening its carbon footprint. I'd like to see the IAC as a far more responsive body, particularly in respect to COVID. We've had no assistance or guidelines in respect to making our studios safer spaces. Uh, what about waterborne contamination? How long does that last? And what are the guidelines, general guidelines, on social distancing within studios? Over the past while, I've seen so many artists across the globe going bankrupt because of their dependencies on traditional galleries. I'd like to see the IAC as responding to the COVID challenge and this new environment by offering members online marketing courses and looking at helping potters and artists develop new income streams. So those are my promises to you, to work with this clay loving community, to strengthen it, to nurture it. And I believe that my vision, my passion, my skills, my networks and my commitment to ceramics medium and feel is what is necessary to advance the IAC's mission and to embrace our future, our shared future, with clarity and tenacity. So a vote for me is a vote for the future of the IAC. It's a vote for energy, for creativity, for passion, and for a dynamic future for this organization. Thanks folks for your time and for your support. All the best. I look forward to serving you.